that's all that was the lipsticks we'll just move on to these eyeshadow palettes now both of these are from the brand wet and wild which is available in u.s drug stores um, this first one is the palette in sugar plum fairy it was a limited edition palette and it did come out one christmas time i think and um, so i don't think it's actually available anymore but i really love these eyeshadows for such a cheap drugstore brand the payoff of these eyeshadows is absolutely fantastic and you do find a lot of um, dupes for MAC eyeshadows in these palettes as well so I absolutely love these I do have a really really big collection of Wet n Wild palettes and um, so this was just another two to add to my collection which I didn't already have so that's that one and the next one again is another limited edition one it did come out one Christmas time and this is the Snow Sprite palette. Um, so again, you just get six eyeshadows in there. Really, really nice. Like I say, the eyeshadows are fantastic. Great payoff. They go on like butter. Um, and you just get so much pigmentation from them. So I absolutely love them. Again, obviously this one was limited edition. So I don't think it's available in the shops anymore. But there you go. So we'll quickly move on to the nail polishes there. Um, I did get quite a few nail polishes and swaps this time, so we'll go through those. Um, the first one is this Milani Jewel FX, and this is in the colour Gems. Um, you can see it's just a really thick, solid glitter. It's got red, blue, gold, green, silver, just every colour of the rainbow in there. This is supposed to be a dupe of Deborah Lipman's Happy Birthday. And looking at it now, it also reminds me of OPI's Rainbow Connection from the Muppet Collection. So I absolutely love that one. Um, some more from the Milani Jewel FX line. I just got a gold colour. It's just solid gold and I really, really love this one for on my toes in the summer. So that's that one. And again, another one from Jewel FX, which is just in the silver. It's exactly the same, just a silver colour. So I love those. And Milani's obviously not available here in the UK, so it was nice to get those. Um, next one I got is a Sinful Colours Polish. This is in... Upside down. Let's have a look. Social Ladder 924. And this is just a gorgeous... It's like a nude, pearly colour, but it's shot through with pink. I thought it would be really nice for a French manicure colour. They're just really natural on the nails. Um, I absolutely love these Sinful Colour Polishes. They're not available here in England. Um, but I just love them. I wish I knew somewhere to get them from. Um, I know that they're only $1.99 in US drugstores. Which is really, really cheap compared to nail polish here in the UK. Um, and I know that Walgreens did recently just have a big sale on. Where they're only $0.99 cents each. Um, and I wish that I knew somebody who could just buy me loads. I could send them the money and then they could post them out to us because I absolutely love them and I want to collect them. So yeah, I love those. Um, I did also swap for another Milani Jewel FX in Gems. I just love the colour so much so I thought I'd do another swap for one. And like I say, I can't get it here in England so at least I've got a backup of that one. Um, this is a hard candy nail polish which I didn't actually swap for it was just an extra in a swap so she did just include it for nothing in the swap which was really really nice this is in the colour hypnotic number 53 and it's just a gorgeous goldy bronzy colour and it's got some I don't know if you can see on the camera it's shot through with gold sparkle but that one looks really nice as well so that'll be nice to try and next one is this Sally Hansen nail polish and this is from the Diamond Strength range. This is in 150 glass slipper. This is a flaky polish which looks really really nice teamed over a dark colour so you get the full colour effect and the payoff from them. Um, Sally Hansen's quite hard to get where I live anyway um, so it was really nice to get one from, from that brand as well. Next one is an Essie polish. This is my first ever Essie polish. I don't own any Essie nail polishes. Again, it is quite hard to get where I live. Um, so it was nice to receive one of these. This is from the recent Lux Effects range. And this is in the colour as gold as it gets. Again, it's another flaky like the Sally Hansen one. Um, obviously, this is in gold though. So it does look really nice teamed over a dark colour. And then obviously the flakes shine through. So I can't wait to try that one out. 
Um, I did get some more sinful colour polishes. The first one is this sinful colour and this is in the colour Cinderella. I've heard so many good reviews about this colour that I just had to have it. It's like a gorgeous baby turquoisey blue colour and it's shot through with pinky purple shimmer. I don't know if it's picking that up on the camera there but it is absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to try this one in the summer. So yeah, I'm over the moon, I got that one. And the next one is a glitter polish and it is in number 830 Pinky Glitter. I've gone absolutely mad for glitter polishes at the moment. I know they're a nightmare to get off your nails but they do look fantastic when they're on the nails and they can create so many different effects just with glitter polish. So I love this one and it's not just a straight up pink glitter, you can see on the camera there that it is holographic so it does shine all different colours. So again I can't wait to try that one out there. And onto the last three, this is an Avon polish. Again I didn't actually swap for this polish, this was just an extra in a swap as well. And um, This is in the colour Vivid Violet and it's just a gorgeous deep purple. And it do, if you can see on the camera there, kind of shines pink as well, like pinky lilac -y colour. So yeah, I can't wait to try that one. I haven't actually tried Avon nail polishes before, so it'd be quite nice to try that one out there. And the last two are available to me in the UK, but I just love them anyway, so I just decided to swap for them. The first one's a Barry M nail paint, and this is in the colour... 304 which is mint green and I absolutely love Barry M nail polishes. The colour selection is huge so you've got tons of colours to choose from. The consistency of the polishes I absolutely love as well. I applied two coats and it's completely covered. You don't need any more coats than two coats on the colours that I've got. Um, and they're only £3.95 a polish, £3.95 so that's really really good as well. So I love those. And the last one that I got is just this little 17 polish. This is in the colour Parma Violet. And 17 is just a brand here in the UK. It's from Boots and Boots is just our drugstore. Um, these are pretty reasonably priced as well. And I just love the colour of this one. It's not a straight up violet. It's like a pinky violet colour. And I have actually had this one on a couple of times and I love it. It does look really, really nice with a tan as well. So can't wait to wear that one in the summer again. So yeah, that was my collective swap haul. I'll just give you another quick overview there. Um, like I say, I haven't tried this nail kit as yet. But when I do, I will let you know what I think of that. Um, and I am going to try and do swatches of these all these polishes and I will try and put them up in another video for you just so you can see the swatches and the colours of them. So yeah, that's the haul there, the swap haul. So I hope you enjoyed it everybody and thanks for watching. Bye!